Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. As promised in my video on the 25th anniversary of the Intel Pentium 3, we are tearing down today the Xbox Classic console made by Microsoft. The Xbox Classic is actually Microsoft's first installment of the Xbox series of game consoles. It was released end of 2001 in the US and early 2002 in Europe. The successor was the Xbox 360, which was introduced in 2005 which was then followed by the Xbox One. The Xbox is classified as a 6th generation game console. Further 6th generation consoles were the Sega Dreamcast, Sony's PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo GameCube. As the Xbox is the latest member of this generation, it has technically speaking the highest computational performance, but we all know that success in the console market has many other indicators. So today is going to be a straight teardown, no repair, just opening the case, identifying the components and retrieving the CPU and GPU for my collection. Ok, so let's do this. So what took me so long? Well actually the Xbox I had purchased on the flea market earlier this year for just a couple of euros came without the proprietary video cable. So I could only test it recently, borrowing it from my pal Thomas. Moreover, the Xbox turned out to be fully functional. The console has even a soft mode and the entire hard disk is full of games. So no way I would tear down this Xbox. So off again to the flea market and now back with another Xbox. This time a really dead one. As you can see the power button does not react at all and when pushing the eject button it tries to boot but after several attempts it simply gives up. So this is the Xbox Classic. It's uh, one of the first ones having a hard drive which is uh, on this side here is the DVD. You see the four controller ports in the front. It's quite a heavy piece I have to say. And then here the power supply, LAN and here this proprietary video output. Okay well I would say let's start the tear down. So this machine has been tampered with already. You see that all the rubber pads have been removed and here the two further screws are visible. Let's open up the case. So I was using a T15 bit. Now we can just turn it and, and release the case top. Alright, here it is. Cool, so what you see is a DVD player, hard drive. Let's remove the disk separately. do it. Now I can remove the hard drive chassis. So this is a Seagate model ST 3114 Ace. Okay now I think we can remove the DVD. Alright, so this is the Xbox DVD from Philips. And that was a screw. Well, look at this. Even the DVD player was opened. Okay, we're coming close. I detached the cables. And 
here we are. So this is the motherboard and I think we can see that there is no modification done. So this would be in, in this area. You would install some special chips. So this is not a modded version. You see here the power supply. This is the CPU, I think, and this is the GPU, the fan, controller, ICs, and yeah. Okay, I will remove now the motherboard in order to access the CPU and GPU better. Okay, I think this was it. Yeah, you see already the board is liftable. I, I'm detaching all the remaining cables and I hope that this then works. Yes, that's the Xbox Classic motherboard. All right, I made some room. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's first concentrate on the CPU. Big heatsink and yeah, what you can see is here that's the Pentium 3 modification used in the Xbox Classic. Let's first have a quick look at, at this one. So yeah, that's the CPU I was looking for. It's uh, the KC733128. S-Spec is SL5SN, so this is a 733 MHz Pentium 3 version with uh, only 128 second level cache. Let's try to remove the CPU heatsink. Yeah, off you go. Okay, that was the force I needed. Okay, so let's apply the heat gun action to remove the two big chips here. All right, so the last part is the heat gun action. Alright, so I gave the chips a nice wash and now we can have a closer look at the chips. I placed them on the place where they were soldered to before. A custom copper mine based Pentium 3 was developed especially for the Microsoft's Xbox game console. So this Xbox CPU is a 32-bit, 733 MHz custom Intel Pentium 3. The only significant change to the PC CPU versions is that the chip has lost half of its second level cache, dropping it down to 128 kilobytes. The CPU was manufactured onto the same micro PGA2 packaging as notebook chips, but in a BGA format. Let's have a look at the GPU. This is the NVDA 233 MHz NV2A. It has a floating point performance of 7.3 gigaflops. 
With bandwidth limitations, it has a real-world performance of 7.8 to 21 million 32 pixel triangles per second with Z-buffering, fogging, alpha blending and texture mapping capabilities. Okay folks, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos soon.